Numerous critics have warned that the federal government's massive spending binge and money printing binge over the last year might trigger a devastating wave of inflation. The CEO of Berkshire Hathaway and multi-billionaire investor Warren Buffett controls several significant home-building firms, and he just warned that inflation is increasing. We are seeing very substantial inflation, Buffett said at a shareholder meeting. It's very interesting. We are raising prices. People are raising prices to us, and it's being accepted. We've got nine home builders in addition to our manufactured housing and operation, which is the largest in the country, the investor continued. So we really do a lot of housing. The costs are just up, up, up. Steel costs, you know, just every day they're going up. In fact, rising costs are becoming a serious issue in the housing industry. This has effects on every one of us, although it might seem like an abstract idea, ordinary people are the ones who are most affected by inflation. A typical new single-family home now costs over $36,000 more than it did a year ago, as seen by the continued rise in timber prices, one of several recent examples of inflation. Hannah Cox of the Foundation for Economic Education recently reported on a continual rise in food and grocery costs that challenges Americans' capacity to put food on the table as another illustration that is much more relevant to their daily lives. Food prices jumped 3.9% in 2020, Hannah explained. Unfortunately, this trend seems poised to continue. The U.S. Department of Agriculture estimates grocery bills could increase by another 3% in 2021, while some experts are betting on even longer-term problems. She points out that although the cost of beef climbed by 5.5% last year, the cost of fruits like apples and strawberries increased by a staggering 11.3%. Inflation in food and housing is only the beginning. According to a recent Bank of America study, investors consider general inflation to be their top concern. Even some liberally inclined economists are raising the alarm, including former Obama cabinet member Larry Summers, who has a favorable propensity for large-scale spending initiatives. I think there's a real possibility that within the year, we're going to be dealing with the most serious, incipient inflation problem we've faced in the last 40 years, Summers said. You can see how rising costs harm regular people by looking at only housing and food prices. In essence, inflation is a hidden tax since it reduces your real purchasing power. The government steals income from individuals to increase spending without most people acknowledging it. Why Warren Buffett's warning from 1999 is still valid today When he arrived in Sun Valley, Idaho, the visionaries in the room were not in the mood to hear Warren Buffett's controversial warning. The gathering tech gurus were determined to change the world and had already amassed substantial wealth in the process. Many people were waiting on investments with exorbitant valuations that they felt good about during a year in which some tech companies increased by as much as 27-fold. As Buffett stepped up to the podium, there were kind nods. Buffett cautioned the audience against having unrealistic long-term expectations. He cited instances in recent American history where the economy quadrupled, tripled, or even quintupled in size, yet the stock market did not move because it was already overvalued. Buffett acknowledged the market's recent scorching performance. Investors should be wary of this, nevertheless. He foresaw that inflated appraisals would eventually be surpassed by reality. When he advised caution in late 1999, Buffett was correct. Only a few months remained until the famed dot-com bubble burst, which would cause the Nasdaq stock market to drop by as much as 75% and cause well-known companies like Apple Incorporated and Amazon.com Incorporated to lose nearly 80% of their market capitalizations. Bill Gates, the CEO of Microsoft Corp. and a friend of Buffett's, attended the event. Microsoft's share price would drop 34% in less than a year, and it would take 14 years for the stock to recover to its 1999 levels. The creator of Intel Corp, Andy Grove, was also present. He would witness his business suffer even worse. Over the following 17 years, Intel returned 24%, about half the 58% increase in the S&P 500. Will the past repeat itself? Charlie Munger, Buffett's business partner at Berkshire Hathaway Incorporated, issued a similar caution about a risky market craze almost two years ago, claiming that investors were very near the edge of playing with fire. The stock market's performance during the previous year has supported that opinion. A historic 14-year bull market has ended as the S&P 500 has fallen more than 22%. Additionally, tech behemoths including Tesla Incorporated, Apple, Amazon, and Meta Platforms Incorporated 
have lost trillions of dollars in market value due to nosedives like those experienced in the industry in 2000 and 2001. And it's not just publicly traded firms. During the past year, investment for startups has declined 23% globally. It's evident that the market attitude has changed. The fear of losing out no longer motivates investors who are instead gloomy. After a market decline that has lasted about a year, they're now uneasy. This brings to mind additional advice from Warren Buffett who once said, be greedy when others are fearful. It's important to note that the four stocks that suffered the most during the previous major tech sell-off recovered by over 2,000% in the following years. There's a chance that investors now have an equal opportunity. The official data on inflation are confusing and frequently underestimate actual price rises. However, Warren Buffett's caution is only the most recent and a rising body of evidence that inflation, at least in certain vital areas, is becoming a significant concern. That concludes today's video. Thanks for joining us till the end, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.